Hey guys, welcome back. Today's interesting topic is about priority encoder. So in previous video, we have discussed about encoder, about its advantages and limitations. So why do we need a priority encoder? Because in encoder, we have certain limitations. So the limitations are if two inputs are active at a time, the output of the encoder will be undefined. So that's a limitation for encoder. That's the reason we are going for the priority encoder okay and all inputs are zero that means the output will be zero but we don't want that in encoder so that's the one more reason we are adding a valid bit or a void bit in priority encoder so priority encoder is very simple i'm gonna explain you clearly be patient till the end of the video so as you can see over here this is the block diagram of a priority encoder where we have four inputs and two outputs and an extra bit V. So this V bit can be a valid or a void. This indicates that our inputs are not zero. Okay. If one of the input is high, then this will be valid or void means it will be zero. So let's take the true table of this. So we have given the input as zero, zero, zero. So output will be undefined because we don't want the output to be defined when we give 0, 0, 0. So at this time, the valid bit will also be 0. Okay, don't forget this. This is so simple. Now, when I0 is high, the output should be 0 and 0. And valid should be 1. And similarly, since we have i11 we will not care about whatever the i0 will be because we are taking the priority one so here we are going to take msb priority that means the most significant bit will have the highest priority and next will be i2 and next will be i1 and next will be i0 okay remember this in priority encoder we will have two types of priority msb bit or lsb bit so here I'm considering the case of MSB bit, okay? So now you can see that, you can say that whenever I1 is one and we don't care about I0, the output will be zero and one. So valid bit will be high because the output is, input is one. Now in this case, I2 is one and we don't care about these two bits, whatever the combinations of I0 and I1, we will be considering only I2, okay? So it is one and zero. So valid bit is one again. Here, MSB bit is having the highest priority that is one and the output will be one and one and the valid is one. So to get more clarity, I will explain you in this example. Okay, here I have written all the combinations of I0, I3 means four bit combinations from zero to 15, okay? As you can see over here, I have written all from zero to 15. So why I'm writing this down? Because it will be helpful for you. So what does a priority encoder does? So whenever the zero is given, I'm considering for MSB priority, don't forget it. So whenever zero is convert, it converts to zero and give it to an encoder. Whenever one is given, it is converting to 001 and it's giving to the encoder. So let us consider this case where two inputs are high. Let's see this case, okay? Where two inputs are high at a time. So here it is MSB priority. So MSB is our I3. So as you can see over here, I1 is having more priority than I0. Understand this point? I1 is having more priority than I0. So as a result, the priority encoder will convert into 0, 0, 1 and 0. Okay, this will be fed to an encoder. So this output will be fed to an encoder. Okay. Then we will get our result. That is, and that is P1, no? It is 1 and 0. So we will get 1, 0 at output. Okay. So here, as you can see now, I'm considering the cases where there are more than one input high at a time. 1, 0, as you can see, 1, 0, 1. So 1 is high over here. I2 is having more priority than I0. As a result, we will be giving this one to our encoder. 
So similarly, you can consider all the cases. As you can see over here, I3, I2, I1, and I0, all of them are one. But I3 is having the more priority as a result, 1, 0, 0, 0 will be given to that encoder. So this is how it works. Whatever input we are giving from 0 to 15 will be converted into some priority values that P3, P2, P1, and P0. So as you can see, 15 has been converted to 100. So 100 is given to an encoder, 4 cross 2 encoder. Okay? And we will get our result. So here it will be 100. I'm going to show you an example 1, 1, 1, and 1. So this is the input which we are giving to a priority encoder. So priority encoder will convert this based upon its priority. If it's LSB priority, it will consider only one and all zeros over here. If it, since we are doing for MSB priority, it will consider as zero, 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 and one. So as you know, the output will be of P3. So the output will be one and one. So this is how the priority encoder works. Now let's go, come back to our truth table. So this is the truth table since we have been discussing. So let's write the equations for A and B. So as you can see over here, A is high when uh, I2 is there and I3 is there. So A will be A equals to I2 I3 bar plus I3. Okay, this is our A. And what is our B? So this is our equation for A and B. Now let us simplify it. So as you can see this, it is an, we can reduce it, absorption law, that is I2 plus I3 will become our equation. And this one, we can reduce it to I1, I2 bar plus I3. So we got our A and B equation. Now we need to get the valid equation. This is valid, not why, don't forget. Void is just the complementary value of it. So if this is valid, so void will be, just in case if someone asks for you, what will be the void? So void will be zero. The, so void and valid are complement bits of each other. So what is the valid over here? So valid equation can be, so you can see that valid is one, 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 one for everyone. So I zero, I one, I two, and I three. So that's our equation, I0 plus I1 plus I2 plus I3, okay? So we got our equations for valid A and B. So I hope you have understood that this is how you do for the priority encoder. So why do we use an priority encoder? So whenever zeros are there, so output will be x and x that and the valid bit will be zero and the void bit will be one so i hope you are understood and if you have any doubts you can comment down below oh i am the major advantage of priority encoder is to use more number of bits if the inputs are active more than once so and wait a minute i have one more thing to say about priority encoder okay don't forget this one this is super important this is important Okay, this is important. Don't forget this one. Okay, this is very important because I will be answering your doubts as fast as possible. And if this content is valuable for me, that means you need to get connected with me so that you can get more valuable content for you. And thanks for watching the video till end. Hope you have a good day.